uh, we're driving a 1916 Packard uh, Roadster B12. Well, uh, we got the car um, uh, out of a museum in uh, 1987. And we restored it and we put it in the 87 Great Race. Uh, uh, it's been in, I guess, all the Great Races until 98. And then it came back in 2001, two, three, four, five, and six. And then this year is the first year it's, it's been run since 2006. In 1983, uh, a friend of mine and I entered uh, what was going to be the great, what was to be the great race, and uh, uh, found out that uh, the promoters at that time weren't all doing all that great. And uh, my friend decided to uh, hook up with Interstate Batteries and uh, put the great race together. And and uh, I wanted to be a, an entrant. I wanted to drive my car and make sure it'd get across the country. So uh, we drove the car, and my friend uh, Tom McRae, he. Uh, uh, continued on and promoted the thing and got it going and kept it going till uh, uh, he sold it in uh, 2002, I believe, when, when the Rally Partners bought it. And uh, then I was one of the Rally Partners and then uh, Corky got it, uh, bought it, and uh, he's doing an outstanding job putting it back together. Well, uh, Corky is a, is a, obviously a good friend of mine as well, but uh, you know we still like the excitement of the great race is uh, is is kind of undefinable. It, it's uh, it's the people, the camaraderie, the uh, the see a, a great part of the world, a great part of the United States. Uh, then you run into old friends, old great racers uh, all day today, every stop today. Uh, I ran into people that we raced with in, in 84, 85, 86. Uh, the Spirit of Wilkesbury, that crew was there at one of the stops this morning. But ever since I've left, uh, uh, every, every stop just about, I run into somebody that's been in the great race. And uh, they come from miles to just come see it again and just feel it and be a part of it for some reason. And it's, it's got to be the old camaraderie deal, you know. And a competition, you know, <laughs> is, is uh, I mean, that put a spark in your life as well. Put a, put a little extra step in you. Well, you know, not, not in my camp. I mean, you know, we, we, the, the, uh, the challenge in our camp is, is to just do the best you can do. There is... Uh, there's so many elements of the competition that <clears throat> is, um, I mean, I, uh, the, the best driver and the best uh, navigator in town can leave here and uh, uh, drive down the street uh, to uh, instruction into the race and encounter a, a, a freight train, you know, and he's got to stop and wait and then his, his time gets all messed up. Uh, two cars behind him, can come along and be the worst guys in the world never saw the freight train, you know, or the truck or the obstacle or the uh, whatever it might be. So there, there is, um, it, it, you know, as far as competition is concerned among other great racers, I, you know, I've never felt that at all. I, you know, we just go out and do the best we can do. And as a matter of fact, uh, uh, as far as we're concerned, uh, the best guy wins. It is, whoever the best guy is, he wins, and he deserves it because he worked hard at it. Because we work hard at it, you know. But uh, there, there's elements that uh, um, uh, make it less difficult for some and more difficult for others. It, you know, so it's kind of hard to, uh, uh, you know. I, I I don't know the the real. Um, um, answer to that question, but uh, I, you know, in our camp, there's there's not any any uh, uh, 
rivalry or anything like that. You know, we we'll get out and help the <clears throat> we'll get out and help the guy that that needs the help. If his car's broke, we'll help him. If he's winning, we'll help him. If he's losing, we'll help him. It doesn't matter. <laughs> that doesn't matter to us. It's kind of get the old cars cross country deal. It's what we we try to try for. Well, I'm, <clears throat> it's real easy for me. I'm not smart enough to navigate. I am smart enough to drive the car and, <laughs> and pay for the gas and, uh, and keep the car running, but I'm not smart enough to navigate, so that, that's, not a, that's not a big challenge. I, I know better than try to navigate. You know, I look for signs uh, and then try to execute whatever the instruction is, you know. Oh, well, I, I mean, there's the, the, that, that's a chemistry deal. I mean, there's, uh, uh, there's excellent navigators that are uh, just real difficult to communicate with. You know, the, the, what, what makes a, a good navigator team is, is the, the, the chemistry. You know, I respect you and you respect me and, and uh, all that, uh, you know, just kind of makes, uh, makes it easier to get across the country because I, I certainly wouldn't want to sit there for uh, seven days with somebody that uh, kind of gives me a, a cramp or two, you know. <laughs> That's not, that wouldn't be any fun at all. But if you can, you know, if you can laugh at your mistakes and uh, uh, learn from them and all that sort of stuff, well then it, it's, you know, it makes it a lot easier. Uh, Ty, uh, our navigator, our team navigator, and I've been friends uh, he was in the first great race. He's missed maybe one or two is all. But uh, uh, <clears throat> we've, we've known each other. We've been competitors uh, against each other for a long time, but, but just good for him, remain friends forever. And uh, Ty started navigating for us. Uh, uh, we started na driving, navigating together. Uh, when was that? An uh, 07. No, I'm sorry, I apologize. Oh, oh eight, in oh eight, we did our first one. Then we've, we've been doing local rallies. We've been doing the Coker Challenge uh, down in, in uh, uh, Chattanooga, and we enjoy that. And we're, we're just excited about uh, uh, Coker Tire putting the great race back together so we can go have some more fun. Essentially, we, we tell them it's a time distance speed rally and uh, just explain it, uh, explain to them, uh, you know, basically what we're doing and we're not, uh, we're not doing a cannonball run thing and it's, uh, uh, you know, cross country uh, road rally and that's what we, we, we tell them. And we, we get asked that a lot and then for the most part, um, uh, if, they're, if they're real interested, uh, uh, and and want to inquire a bit. We'll show them the instructions and show them that because uh, a lot of them say, "Well, where are you going from here?" Well, we don't know. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna follow those instructions, and it'll take us out of this parking lot, and uh, you know, and we'll just follow the instructions down the road. That's that's what we know, and uh, kind of explain it to them that way. Of, the, of the, the fondest memories of the great race is, is, is <laughs> there's just so many, there's not one single thing. There, there are so many characters in this deal. I mean, <clears throat> you've, you've had five people sitting here probably, and every one of us a little different, you know? And <laughs> everybody probably had a different, different answer for, for your questions, but there is there over the years over all of those years east to west west to east north to south you know all of the things it, it's uh, they're just it's just a a bunch of different uh, wonderful characters that you come across and they're they're lasting friendships I mean we've uh, uh, unfortunately I'm not real good on names but I remember faces and and incidents um, you know, relating to those people and whatever. And the last time I was in Bingington, 
you know, was, was, a, was, a, was a fun deal. We've been here twice. Uh, this is the third time, as I recall, in the, <clears throat> in the great race. Uh, but every time we come here, boy, I mean, that red carpet's out there, and they do everything they can do to be hospitable. And uh, 95, I guess, we, had, we came through here, and they about uh, 10 miles outside of town, the whole regiment of um, motorcycle guys met us, each car, and escorted us into town. And that was a hoot. I mean, and they were looping. Man, they brought 110 cars in here that, that year. We went Ottawa to Mexico City, and uh, that was that was memorable. Uh, they're, they're just me. And another uh, classic was uh, in '95. We we finished in New York City, and the awards dinner was on top of the uh, World Trade Fair Center, one of the towers. Uh, I remember looking looking off that booger. Uh, I mean, that was quite a quite a trip but uh, all, uh, there, there's just been so many uh, things there's, you just couldn't you just can't nail one but every, uh, you know when I when I get home <clears throat> I'll still be waving at people I'll still be talking to people <laughs> you know and, and the race is over you know <laughs> it'd take me about a week or so to get acclimated but when I get home I'll be getting ready to go do one next year you know, if a follow-up until I get too old to move, I guess.